big news regarding Social Security that you won't want to miss. Next month, a substantial payment of $4,873 is going out to eligible recipients. That's right, $4,873. But what does that mean for you? Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Stimulus Updates, your go-to channel for the latest news and updates on economic stimulus packages. I'm your host, Joseph, and today we have some exciting developments to share with you. First off, let's understand what this $4,873 payment is all about. The Social Security Administration, SSA, has announced this payment as part of the monthly benefits scheduled for next month. But who exactly qualifies for this payment? According to the SSA, this payment is aimed primarily at retirees, disabled individuals, and survivors of deceased workers. The amount may vary based on several factors, including your work history, age at retirement, and whether you're collecting benefits based on your own earnings or a spouse's. Visuals of various individuals and families, graphics showing eligibility criteria. To qualify for the maximum payment of $4,873, you typically need to have worked for at least 35 years and paid Social Security taxes throughout that period. The SSA calculates your benefits based on your top 35 years of earnings. If you worked less than 35 years, your payment might be lower. Here's the kicker. If you've reached full retirement age, which is currently 67 for those born in 1960 or later, you can claim the full benefit. However, if you claim early, at 62, you'll see a reduction in your benefits. Also, survivors of deceased workers can also be eligible for benefits based on the deceased's earnings record. This can provide significant support to families who have lost a primary earner. If you think you might qualify, be sure to check your social security statement or contact the SSA directly for more information. Now, let's talk about why this payment is so significant. Recently, the cost of living adjustments, COLA, have seen an increase due to inflation. In fact, the SSA reviews economic data each year to adjust benefit amounts accordingly. This year's COLA increase is particularly notable as it is designed to help beneficiaries keep up with rising living costs. With inflation rates fluctuating, this adjustment is crucial for many retirees and disabled individuals who rely heavily on these payments for their day-to-day -day expenses. The goal is to ensure that beneficiaries have enough to cover basic needs like housing, food, and healthcare. This increase could not have come at a better time considering the economic challenges many are facing right now. So, what can you do to prepare for this payment? Here are a few tips. First, if you're eligible, make sure your SSA account is up to date. This includes verifying your personal information and ensuring that your bank details are correct for direct deposit. Next, consider creating a budget that factors in this payment. With the rising costs of living, Planning how to allocate these funds can be crucial. Whether it's saving for unexpected expenses or paying off debts, having a clear plan can make a big difference. And don't forget to review your overall financial health. This could be a great time to consult with a financial advisor, especially if you're unsure how to make the most of your benefits. This news comes as a beacon of hope for retirees and those dependent on Social Security for their livelihoods, especially in the face of rising living costs and economic uncertainty. As the government seeks to enhance financial security for its citizens, this substantial payment could offer crucial support to many families. The payment is part of an ongoing effort to adjust social security benefits in line with inflation and the increased cost of living. With prices for essentials like food, housing and healthcare continuing to rise, these adjustments are more important than ever. Beneficiaries can expect to see this boost as a reflection of the government's commitment to ensuring that Social Security remains a reliable source of income for retirees and disabled individuals alike. For many, this $4,873 payment 
represents not just a financial boost, but also a sense of stability during uncertain times. Many beneficiaries rely solely on these payments to cover their monthly expenses, making every dollar count. The upcoming distribution will allow recipients to manage their budgets more effectively, whether it's paying bills, buying groceries, or addressing unexpected costs that may arise. It's important for beneficiaries to be aware of when and how these payments will be dispersed. The Social Security Administration has outlined a clear schedule for payments, ensuring that everyone knows what to expect. With the right information, recipients can plan ahead and maximize the impact of this payment on their financial well-being. As discussions around Social Security reform continue, this payment serves as a reminder of the vital role the program plays in the lives of millions. Advocates emphasize the importance of maintaining robust social security benefits, particularly in times of economic strain. As the nation grapples with various financial challenges, the commitment to supporting its citizens through social security remains a cornerstone of public policy. In conclusion, the upcoming $4,873 payment is more than just a number. It represents the government's acknowledgement of the ongoing struggles faced by many individuals and families. As we await its arrival next month, it's an opportunity to reflect on the broader implications of Social Security and the importance of ensuring that this vital program continues to serve those who need it most. Now. Let's tackle some frequently asked questions regarding Social Security payments. Question 1. How often do these payments occur? Most beneficiaries receive payments on a monthly basis, typically on the second, third or fourth Wednesday of each month, depending on their birth date. Question 2. Will this payment be the same every month? Not necessarily. Payments can change yearly due to COLA adjustments. So, it's essential to stay informed about any updates from the SSA. Question 3. Can I work while receiving Social Security benefits? Yes, you can work, but your benefits might be reduced if you exceed certain income limits, especially if you're under full retirement age. If you have more questions, drop them in the comments below, and I'll be sure to respond. Now, let's take a broader look at how this payment impacts not just individuals, but the economy as a whole. When millions of Americans receive their Social Security payments, it creates a ripple effect. These funds often go directly into the local economy, helping to support businesses and services. Think about it, when beneficiaries spend their payments on groceries, healthcare, and other essentials, they are effectively fueling local economies. Furthermore, with the growing number of retirees, the economic implications are significant. Social Security is one of the largest sources of income for older Americans, and its stability is crucial for overall economic health. Policymakers need to consider these aspects as they discuss reforms to the Social Security system.